Okay, shipping on whatnot. So many people message me and they're like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm scared. I'm scared of the shipping part. The shipping part is not too bad. It's actually pretty awesome. So I'm going to show you how to ship an item that is flat rate and how to ship an item that is ground. So that's what we're going to go through. I am Bolo Buddies, Courtney, and Bolo Buddies, all one word, lowercase, is my whatnot handle. So come follow me on whatnot if you're not already. And if you're not on whatnot, there is a link down below where you can get $15 to shop when you join with my whatnot link. Okay, so definitely go and join. After you do that, if you're thinking about selling on whatnot, you can go down to the description and there is a seller's link. If you use that link, it will let Whatnot know that I referred you. So that could help you get accepted quicker. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I'm going to show you how to set up a show. So basically, you need to fill in the title and the description. I usually just make those match. I'm not super detailed in this area. Uh, this one is going to say jewelry vintage to now. And then the description is going to say jewelry vintage to now pre-owned. And that's it. That's all I'm going to put there. But the most important thing that I'm showing you in this video for this tutorial is how I did the shipping. So I'm going to set the date for December. This is just a show that I'm going to have way, way, way in the future. Um, I've already got a bunch of shows pre-scheduled. I'd love for you guys to go and bookmark those and setting the time. And then does this show repeat? No, but you can make them repeat. I'll add my thumbnail and my preview video later. I'm going to pick cost or contemporary costume, I think, for that. And then I'm going to pick three tags. And the shipping part is next. There's two areas where because I'm doing jewelry and the items are small, I am going to pick flat rate shipping, which means I am going to ship the items in a flat rate box. And we're going to go into that in this video, and I'm going to show you exactly how that works. Now, if you have larger items, you do not want to select that option. Let's pull it up. So right here, we are on my main page. I'm going to click on the little dot. I am going to go down to my shipments. Once you click on my shipments, it is going to pull up all of your orders. So I have 23 items to ship here. All right. So here's what I'm going to show you. Let's dig in to how to ship on whatnot. Okay. So here are my shipments and they are organized by numbers. Now, typically I go one through a hundred. Yesterday I was pulling from old sticker labels. So I've got some in the 90s, some in the 200s, some in the 300s, some in the 400s, but everything is organized. So when I go to grab an order, I'm going to look at which numbers I sold and then I'm going to grab those numbers. So let me give you an example. All right. So I'm going to grab somebody here that sells on whatnot. And that is seems so vintage. She's fantastic. Please go give her a follow over on whatnot. So she bought 391, 389, 298, 278, 93, and 479. So those are the orders that I need to pull. Now, when you look here, her weight is 18 ounces. So it is over, it's over a pound. So hers is going to fit in a flat rate box. So that's what I'm going to use for hers. One thing that I want to show you that a lot of people don't know, you can click on video receipt and watch this guys. The video is going to pop up. So if you forget what you sold, it's going to pop up and you can hit play and you can listen back. And so let's say somebody messaged you and messages you and they said, Oh, my item is not as described. You didn't say this. You can go back and watch and see if you said it. One important thing that I think is to always describe your items very, very well. So let's listen. Oh, I don't have sound on. Hold on. There we go. Sound. I'm running your thing now, honey. Sorry for the delay. I want to be able to put it on here and take a picture. Okay, so I am packing up the order so I know that number 391 is this purchase of P. 
pins and brooches, all right? So let's go over here and grab these items. Other thing you can do is, and this is why I take pictures now, you can click on the order, or actually the picture right here, and it's gonna show you, all right? You can click on this so you can see what she ordered, all right, by clicking on the photo. Okay, so I'm looking for $3.91, which is right here. And then I'm looking for $389. $389. I put $389. There's $389. $278. And I think it was, let's see, let me look. $278. $298. So I'm looking for $298. So we got that. And then I'm looking for 93, 93. So I'm up here in the 90s. 90, that's not what she ordered. She didn't order that. I looked at the wrong thing. Oh, she did order that. Oh, that's weird. I don't remember her ordering that. And 4.79, she got these pencils. So that is her order. So my shipping station, I always try to have my bubble wrap already ready to go and I will typically let's do I try to put two or three things together however I can do it and have it still be safe all of these are pins so I'm probably just going to wrap these all together in one piece of bubble wrap now if it's a more fragile item I will do things differently but for this one I think we can get it all in one I'm going to bubble wrap the pencils separately. Yes, I bubble wrapped pencils. I'm going to grab an owl sticker and a thank you for your purchase sticker. I'm going to put those on there. All right, so you remember the padded flat rate. So I'm putting her items in here. I'm going to close this up. A box for the pencils so that they don't get broken during shipment. So now you've got a box and then my pencils there on the side and I am gonna fold this over. All right, so we're back at her order. I'm gonna click on the blue line. Then I'm gonna come over here and that is gonna bring me up to her information. And we're gonna go down here and we're gonna hit edit shipment. Now, because it's over uh, 16 ounces, I'm gonna ship it in a flat rate. So I cho chose the USPS padded flat rate envelope. So I'm gonna click on that. The dimensions always say 12 by 12 by uh, 12. I usually update this and at least like put, like uh, let's put a four there. And then I don't change the weight because that's the weight that I used for my items during the show. So I can leave that. I'm gonna hit save. And then I'm gonna click generate label. Right, the next example is going to be Amy K Design. She is also a seller on Whatnot, so go follow her. And I'm using both of these because I know they're sellers and I want to shout them out. So her total purchase was only 12 ounces. So this is going to ship ground. So any box that doesn't have priority mail on it. So these are your just regular brown boxes like the one that I put into the padded envelope. So she purchased from me number 290, 494, 429 and 469. So I need to grab these numbers right now. I'm looking for 290, 494, 494, 494. Where is, oh yeah, my not, I've got, remember my numbers are a little crazy today. Normally it's one through a hundred. It's, I line them up. The first row is one through 10 and then so on and so forth. Each row has 10 in it. It's so much easier that way. I mixed up numbers because I was trying to use my old labels. So got 429, 429, 429. I think it was these two items from another show. Is that it? Yeah, 429 and 469. All right. So these are not jewelry. These were from my day before show that I had left up under the auction tab to see if anybody wanted me to run them again. And these two items sold. So they were not jewelry. Her four items are in the box. And again, just a brown box. I do like to buy these thinner ones for shipping things that I'm gonna be putting lots of padding on anyway because they're lightweight. So it helps me keep the weight down. 
I'm going to pop this on my scale. It weighs 5.4 ounces. So we're going to come back over here to my computer. We're going to click up on the blue. And then we're going to go over here. And now we're going to do edit, edit shipment. And we're going to put in my box size. Let me find my, let's see, 9. Ooh, sorry. 9 by 7 by 6. It's something like that. And what did I say it weighed? We're gonna click here. If you tab forward, it will take out this and you'll have to put it back in, all right? So don't hit the tab. And this is six ounces. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna hit save. Generate label. And my label is going to pop up. All right, Bolo Buddies, in this segment, we're going to talk about shipping on whatnot. And in this video, I did flat rate shipping, which means that the buyer pays no more than $8.35. And I ship it in a flat rate box. Now, if it is under like one pound, it's still going to ship ground. All right. So don't be confused by that. What I like to do, let me pop this up a little bit. The medium flat rate box is sometimes too big. So I will take a flat flat rate padded envelope and I will grab, I buy boxes that fit, that are smaller, that hold quite a bit of jewelry. This is when I do a jewelry show. And this will fit inside of here. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. Now, do you have to, to ship jewelry in a box? No, you don't. But um, a lot of times I do. So this box fits into this bag. And as long as it closes on the seam, you can do that. Now, certain boxes won't fit. This one is a six by five by four. It's great. There's other ones, other dimensions that are good as well. So I like the padded envelopes because they're simple. Now, let me grab large flat rate box, medium flat rate box. <laughs> you can use these also. There is also a small flat rate box. You can order all of these from USPS.com. They are free. Now, this one is smaller. I haven't really used this one, and I'm going to show you why because it doesn't fit very much in it. Okay, it's not very big, but that is an option. Uh, usually anything that's gonna fit in this is probably going ground and then you just use a regular box. You cannot use priority mailboxes for your ground shipments. Uh, other options is regular envelope and legal flat rate. So legal is just bigger. I have not used these either. I prefer the padded box in a bag, padded envelope, but you most definitely can use these as choices. And I have tons of them, but again, haven't used those. So one thing that I love for jewelry are the pillow boxes. And I bought, because a lot of times you're want, you wanna keep your weight down. So I bought smaller. This is your standard, this is the one I use for eBay, but this is how big. So I bought smaller ones that the label just fits on and then this fits inside of it. I also did the same thing with the uh, bubble mailers because I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but the weight is different and you wanna keep your weight down. So I recommend getting different resources out there for shipping. Okay. All right, you guys, so this order is going out to MacPack Reselling. Check her out on Whatnot and YouTube. But her purchase has a bigger item in it. So I'm going to be shipping that in a medium flat rate box. So this is the medium flat rate box. So I'm going to grab her orders. Let's see. She ordered $395.79, $395.79. We're looking for number. I think this was hers too. 79. I think she had 78 as well. 
Uh, let's see. So three ninety five seventy nine. She had three ninety four and two ninety six. Three ninety four. 296. So she had these two items. 483. And then I grabbed 94, I think, right? No. I grabbed 78. So we need 483 and 94. 483. This is the bigger item. And 94. So here's what we're going to do next. We are going to make sure that everything. So she had seven orders here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're good to go, let's pack it up. So one thing that I like to do to fill the void in the box is I'm gonna take these two packages and put them inside of here. I am not gonna seal this because I know she's a reseller, so I know she can reuse this. So I'm gonna leave it unsealed and I'm gonna stick it in there. Now, here's her two items, all right? So I'm going to add some bubbles on the top, but this would probably be okay shifting around, but just for some extra protection, I'm going to show you what I do. I save these from things that I buy and then I hang on to them and I use them for things like this. And then I'll just close this up and it's ready to ship. So we're over here at the order details and we need to go down and we need to hit edit shipment. And then we need to come back up here and this opens on the top. So I have to fix or pick medium box top loading. And I don't know what the measurements are. Again, I don't know if you really need to change the measurements on this because you're putting in the flat rate box, but it's probably closer to 12 by 9 by 8. I'm going to leave the ounces the same because I already weighed the items before I put them in. And for a flat rate, it doesn't really matter. Now, if I'm doing ground, I adjust the weight. So I'm gonna save this, and then I am gonna click Generate Label, and we're good to go. It's gonna pull up my label. All right, Bella Buddies, I hope you found this video helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. I tried to cover some of the questions that I get asked most, but I think most of you just really wanted to see how it works. So that is how it works. Be sure to check out part one where I show you how to create a show, how to actually go live, how to set up a show, how to clone a show. All of the other extra details are in part one. This is just how to ship. And just a reminder, if you're not already on Whatnot, there is that link down below in the description where you can get $15 to shop if you join Whatnot with my referral link. And after you join with that referral link, if you want to sell on Whatnot, there is a separate link down below that will tell Whatnot that I referred you. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.